Hello Taurus, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're gonna go ahead and do current energies uh, regarding your love life. Bonus love reading for Taurus. I'm going to go ahead and pull five cards for the feminine energy and five cards for the masculine energy. And then we're gonna go ahead and clarify and see what's coming in. So, I'm gonna use different decks. I'm gonna start with the feminine first. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love, please. What are the current energies that Taurus feminine energies are dealing with, please? Someone is waiting, expecting, anticipating. Queen of Cups, very loving energy, very empathetic. Some of you may have water in your chart. The Eight of Wands with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. By the way, we have uh, Mercury and Moon, Sagittarius and Taurus, the Nine of Pentacles, the Death card, Virgo, Venus in Virgo, we have Scorpio energy here, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let me... Uh, do the masculine energy and then we're going to clarify because I want to look at both. Okay, five cards for the masculine energy, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Masculine energy, what is Taurus dealing with, please? One more. Four of Pentacles is here with a High Priestess. Someone is holding on to secrets and uh, someone is waiting from afar. He's not opening, but he's waiting very tightly there with that. Wow. The Three of Swords with the Six of Wands. The Two of Wands. The Six of Cups. And the Four of Wands. Wow. Okay. So let's start uh, with the feminine energy. Um, right away, I feel like someone here is waiting for changes. And this is a faded changing because we do have here the death and the will of fortune. But with that eight of wands, I feel like a, some type of messages are being exchanged here. Someone wants to open up. It's a very receptive. It's just, I, I feel like that eight of wands is like someone so impulsive, especially because it's Mercury. And when I say impulsive, it's just someone impatient, maybe I should say someone that, you know, I just need to say this. I need to blurt this out. Um, whatever it is in my mind that I'm thinking, I just want to go and share it right away. I feel like there's an exchange here. Um, someone wants to open up or share some type of messages. Uh, now, it's interesting because the nine of pentacles is here. I don't know if this is towards someone here that feels now I'm free, available, um, I'm self-sufficient, uh, Venus in Virgo, now I can go after what I want. I, I feel like this is the feminine nine of pentacles that is well off, or uh, she's waiting, and it can be, again, depending uh, where are you connecting with gender, but I feel like someone is waiting for this person um, to change something feels faded someone's status has changed here with the nine of pentacles and death card it's like someone now is free to pursue something that feels faded the death card means transition in this transition seems something that is coming towards you guys i'm, I'm getting quick news i'm getting um shared uh messages independent someone is free um uh, i feel like a detachment with that nine of pentacles and the death card only because again this to me someone that has kind of finally understood that first and foremost is my own independence here uh, i'm well off by myself but i am getting that there's some type of movement some type of changes um, that are coming in i will say overall looking at these changes regarding communication forward movement big transition you guys just had the lunar eclipse in Taurus, so I feel like this, uh, the Death card and the Wheel of Fortune feels very much that necessary purging um, things from the past here or coming in a situation where they're not the same. The Death card does 
say that things are not going to be the same. There's something of a renewal. There's something of a change. A door is being closed. But I like how the death card here is being portrayed someone going towards that light. And then right after that, the Wheel of Fortune is saying, but yes, this is faded. This is destined. Which always when I do this uh, bonus love reading for you guys, you always get destiny somehow. But um, let's see. What is that Eight of Wands? What is this quick, swift movement? One more. Wow, so beautiful. And look, the Six of Pentacles is... I'm getting messages of love here, by the way. Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles. There's a sharing of feelings. Um, positive movement. It's like someone has been hoping for this news. What is the Six of Pentacles, please? One more. <laughs> I'm telling you it's the moon because this is moon uh, in Taurus. We have the Death card. It seems like a release. Even the Death card here has kind of the same, different decks here, but it's just something here is coming with the light. This is not uh, just an ending. This is also a beginning. Something that, again you want to receive you have been waiting for to share this there's some purging but look at the star and the death card let's see what is the nine of pentacles one more yeah the temperance this four of wands is so interesting it wants to keep uh keep um coming here there's something here that needs to be moderated, or I feel like this is an integration between someone's independence, uh, being, you know, financially free. This person also, again, has kind of some boundaries here. Whatever this change, whatever this transition, I feel like the Nine of Pentacles seems very independent, but there's an integration uh, of these two energies when it comes to whatever is purging, whatever is this ending, whatever balance, because even with the Six of Pentacles here, balance between this faded energy or something here that is changing in another relationship again this is a, a very independent well-off person someone here that knows now that they cannot rush into a situation without someone here i feel like the nine of pentacles is not going to compromise it's just going to understand how to integrate these two energies that you're dealing with you or your person Someone has been waiting as well here for some time, has been very patient to achieve this status where they are now. And again, maybe financially free. What is the death card? A lot of major arcanas. Look at this. I really feel like this is the balance between this hope and something that needs to end. What is the death card? One more. Oh my God. Okay, guys, don't tell me that this is not about this lunar eclipse. Something here is coming to light. I keep getting it's not ending. Oh my God, look at the. I keep looking at all these major arcanas. Taurus, you, I feel like um, the year just began for you. This is like, I feel like a sneak peek of what's going to happen um, the following for 2022. 20, uh, major major events major healing major transformation some of you again it is something of um or over rebirth or something new that is coming in your life even the death card there is coming as positive so what is this will of fortune here what is the will of fortune please One more. The Queen of Wands. Okay, so someone is coming here now. I'm looking at the feminine. So um, this may be you, or again, this may be a person you're connecting with. But he's saying something very beautiful. It's like, I feel like it's this, the sun here as well. It's like someone is looking at themselves as very confident, uh, very passionate. It's like this change is bringing a lot of confidence, love, and passion here to a very strong feminine energy, the Queen of Wands. Very passionate. What is this about? 
I'm gonna look for a wow. Look at this. We have uh, the Hierophant, the, the Tower, the Hierophant, and the Five of Swords. This is something regarding beliefs, certain um, upbringing, or even when it comes to certain vows that are going to change here. What is the Queen of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune? One more. <laughs> oh, wow. The King of Wands. Okay, two people here that match energies perfectly. Very passionate, very attractive to each other. There's a destined connection here for you guys. So again, the Death card is coming twice, but it is an integration. It is a balance. It is a moderation. It's a healing between you and someone else that brings you together. There's a destined, um, I want to say soulmates, or, um, you and someone that matching exactly the same energy. Both of you are looking at each other full of passion. Uh, it's a very beautiful reading, whoever is connecting, like you and this person are going to be together. It is coming with, as I mentioned, it's not easy. No matter what, the death card is not easy, but I feel like you're prepared for it. This is the purging that you needed. It's just someone independent enough to go after what they want. But I really like those two together. Again, fortune and change between you and someone else. So now I'm going to look at the masculine. I hope this, you know, helps because I know sometimes... It's good to, to have um, separated, but I don't know. Let's see. I tried different things. Okay. Taurus, the masculine here. You are heartbroken. There's someone here that you still have feelings for. For some of you, uh, you felt like this person was your soulmate. Is it someone from the past? You or this person may have gone through heartbreak. There's still an admiration here. There's still something that you want to pursue. You want to chase. Now, I don't know if this is them towards you or you towards them. We'll see. But I'm, I'm getting that there's a certain sense of I want to make a choice here to reconnect or to reunite or to be um, with this person again. It's just I feel like two people that are hoping to be together someday with the Six of Cups and um, Four of Wands. But again, this is a choice. There's a choice here. There, You might be finding yourself between two people or two choices or you're waiting for uh, someone's intentions here. Again, I feel like it's someone that you have known before. We're going to clarify. And I'm getting that there's going to be reconnect, uh, a kind, some kind of reunion or reconnection with this person. Six and six. Scorpio, Leo. We have, I believe, Libra and strong Aries energy that is coming in. It is a choice. Someone is heartbroken, is waiting to be seen. Um, there's a lot of pride, of course, involved with that six of wands. But that's what I'm getting. There's uh, something about reunion with a person that you have fond memories with. You believe this is someone that um, you and this person are soulmates or there, there was beautiful connection when you were together but something happened with the three of swords so let's see again i feel like you're still going through this heartbreak but there's a choice here that is coming and it means that you and this person will reunite together what is this three of swords what is the three of swords please one more i said one more and i got the nine of wands Queen of Pentacles is coming here. Some of, some of you may be connecting with another earth sign. It doesn't have to be. Okay. Something happened here. The resistance is because someone or has trust issues or something here behind the scenes with the Seven of Swords. There's a lot of avoidance. There's a lot of restriction. Someone here is heartbroken. But still, it's just I feel like they're not giving up, but they're also not opening up. It's just someone is hiding. Hiding, pretending, putting a tough front. That is heartbreak here, no matter what. But that's for the Three of Swords. It's like someone is resisting a certain situation, avoiding. But I think it's just a, you know, a mask. What is this Six of Wands? It's like someone also, because we have the Seven of Swords that can be very much behind the scenes. And when we have the Six of Wands, I'm sorry, Seven of Swords, and we have the Six of Wands, there's someone here wants... To open up, wants to chase, wants to be successful, wants to be seen um, and admired. What is this? Some of you are afraid also of being rejected with the Three of Swords and the Six of Wands. One more. Yeah. The Four.
four of pentacles i keep getting this uh there's something here that someone is not opening up there's a certain admiration that is being held here but someone is not taking a risk what is this one more Hmm. judgment the six of cups is coming here again so definitely someone here that has feelings for you or you have feelings for this person someone is waiting here for um forgiveness or a second chance but again i i feel like it's it's pretending there's someone is pretending to be well off in reality all i see is that someone is waiting for the second chance someone is holding back is heartbroken is resisting they feel like oh i should avoid this situation um but I'm getting that someone actually is waiting for that a return. What is the two of wands here? One more. Oh my God, is that four of wands? You have to make a decision to reconnect, to be with someone. To commit to someone again i don't know what happened in the past that someone avoided or uh, was heartbroken because the person did not open up or had um, other resistance but i'm getting that what you're looking at you're holding uh, you treasure someone here or someone treasures you but at the same time whatever this choice you know that is going to lead to this reunion so it, it looks like a choice will be made made very soon between you and someone else to reconnect engagements here what is this six of cups please What is this Six of Cups, please? One more. Sorry about that. Okay, so you and someone, you keep thinking about someone from the past. You guys may have not had any conversation. It's just waiting memories, thinking about those memories. What is this? A lot of fours here now. One more. Yeah, the Four of Cups and the Five of Swords. Something happened in the past between the two of you. There's a little bit of resentment or there's a fear of rejection, Taurus, that I'm getting. But um, you're still lingering. You still think about this person or they think about you constantly. I feel like someone has not moved on. And again, the Four of Wands coming twice here. I feel like there's this sense that you guys know that somehow you're going to be together or there's going to be some type of meetings. What is the Four of Wands? What is the Four of Wands, please? One more. The Ace of Wands. Remember, you have the Two of Wands here with the Four of Wands making that choice. What is the correct choice to go towards this? And he's saying is that finally, whatever this spark, this new beginning is going to lead to you and someone else being together. Let's see. What is this Ace of Wands? There's... Um, a new passion, a new desire, something is coming here as a potential that is leading to a reunion. One more. Oh my God, this is Six of Wands, strong Leo energy. Okay, Taurus, whatever fear you have had here, heartbreak, rejection, um, and I'm saying rejection because again of the Six of Wands coming twice, once you decide here you once someone decides i don't know if it's you or them to wake up not to be afraid here not to feel conflicted the offer is still here someone has been thinking and wants this offer once that decision is being made it just is leading to this successful approach recognition first of all you have a lot of admiration here even if you think again you are not seen in that light someone admires you someone is looking at you with a lot of admiration and successful actually for some of you but this part this new beginning whatever these two choices once you make up your mind to go towards this is saying it's leading to um this successful approach recognition it's like you deserve love that's how i see with the six of ones twice you and this person or situation deserve love some of you may be moving from a, from a heartbreak but i feel like it's you and someone they're still heartbroken here because you guys have been avoiding or resisting this for some time. And now finally it's like, okay, this is it. Um, I want to pursue this. So it's coming with a lot of success, a lot of recognition. Um, 
towards you and your beginning and your passion and reunion. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Again, this is just a bonus reading, a uh, love reading. I've already uploaded the weeklies for um, the 22nd through the 28th and the extended. So I really hope this does help you. Thank you. Bye-bye.